Breaking news. VP Pence brutally attacked by neighbor. In yet another attack on the Christian values exhibited and lived out by Vice President Mike Pence, the gay community strikes again intent upon berating their bedroom bread elections for all to see. While on vacation for the Christmas holiday in Aspen, Colorado, neighbors to the private home where Pence was staying with his wife Karen, posted a message on the stone pillar that sits at the end of driveways to both homes. Draped across the stone pillar was a rainbow banner emblazoned with the message Make America Gay Again. Pence, a former member of Congress and governor of Indiana, has described himself as a Christian, a conservative and a Republican, in that order. A Pitkin County deputy and Secret Service members stood watching as the daughters of the couple across the street and one of their girlfriends reportedly draped the rainbow banner on the stone pillar at the end of the driveway, the Aspen Times reported. The women reportedly became less timid after officials told them, We're not here to control your free speech rights. They even brought out chili and corn muffins to give the county deputies and Secret Service agents who were stationed at the foot of the Pence's driveway. Pitkin County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Buglian states of the banner, You couldn't miss it. Shannon Slade, one of the residents of the home, said in an email to the Aspen Times the banners were actually hung by the daughters of the couple who live in the home, and one of their girlfriends, I'm one of them, with the full support of their parents. The Pences have been subjected to this level of harassment and worse by gay rights proponents and the gay community at large due to their biblical stance on homosexuality and the belief that it is condemned in the Bible. While serving as governor of Indiana, Pence signed a religious freedom law members of the LGBT community claimed would worsen discrimination against them. The Religious Freedom Restoration Act RFRA was part of a step many states took to allow individuals and companies to assert that their exercise of religion has been, or is likely to be, substantially burdened as a defense in legal proceedings. The bill was approved by a vote of 40 to 10 and on March 26, 2015, Pence signed SB 101 into law sparking massive protests. As a result, Pence was forced to amend the bill adding specific protects to LGBT people on April 2, 2015. Pence also opposed the repeal of the U.S. military's former Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. When he first moved to Washington, D.C., in late 2016, Pence's neighbors in D.C. hung rainbow pride flags to protest his stance on LGBT issues followed up with what they termed as a queer dance party outside of his house in January. The question begs to be asked when exactly was America gay? Prior to 1962 sodomy was considered a felony in every single state. Those laws were not universally invalidated nationwide by the Supreme Court until 2003 with Lawrence v. Texas. So when exactly was America gay again? In 2006 Pence expressed his belief that legalizing gay marriage would cause societal collapse. Pence is not alone in that stance. Some historians such as Roberto de Mattei, the deputy head of the country's National Research Council, believe the collapse of the Roman Empire came about because of a contagion of homosexuality and effeminacy made it easy pickings for barbarian hordes. Many others have asked why exactly the government is involved in marriage in the first place given that it is a religious union. Yet the LGBT community persists in their demands against Christians and American traditionalists and conservatives where to disagree with their lifestyle means to invite ruin, the ruin of one's business, death threats, blatant harassment. Just ask Memories Pizza in Indiana, Sweet Cakes by Melissa in Oregon and Masterpiece Cake Shop in Colorado. Masterpiece Cake Shop has a case before the Supreme Court right now awaiting a decision about where a Christian business owner can be forced to create something against their religious beliefs. In their case, it was a wedding cake for a same-sex wedding. Pitkin County Sheriff Joe DeSalvo said he fully supports anyone exercising their First Amendment rights and said locals have a history of expressing their opinions to powerful people who visit the area. He specifically cited an event where a man climbed the large blue spruce tree next to the Castle Creek Bridge and hung a sign that read, 
in Hale to the chief when then-President Bill Clinton visited Aspen in the mid-1990s. According to DeSalvo, this town had a history of irreverence when it came to our visitors. We seem to have lost that a bit, but this is an extension of that. The Pence family is scheduled to depart Aspen next week. Meanwhile, many Americans are still waiting for an answer, when exactly was America gay? Gay.